let us cut let us cut and make nice little top but this little top this is uh, an african uh, little top actually as you can see i have drafted drafted out my pattern and this is front pattern let me show you the other pattern that i drafted and this is the back pattern back pattern actually draft as different kinds of other um shirt pattern and this is the yoke that i'm going to be using for it and this is the um the sleeve that i will place on it this sleeve this is just short sleeve it's going to be short sleeve and also it's going to have um what they call um uh, bracket in the front but i'm going to cut that first then i'll put uh, i'll op do the opening for the front part to have the bracket okay all right and then i'm going to i will cut in as well the piping of the neck neckline and also pocket i'll try to place my pocket here as you can see and this is the pattern i have drafted it out earlier and i added all my uh, sewing allowances on it so i do not want to i won't add anything right now extra allowance i will not add it to me so what i'll just do just to look for pins to put this thing together So this is it now. Let me just uh, put, the, put the pin on it. The pin on it. Okay. This is there. Okay. So I'm just pin it. Just pin it okay. I won't use much pin it because I have my whip. So you can see. This is what we are making. And the reason why I call this like this is because I'm going to have my split there. All right. Okay. All right. So, so this is the front panel that I'm cutting right now. Front panel. Going to, here is my placement of the, the breast pocket. I'm going to do. Okay. So make sure your your work is nice and flat. Okay. Just put it here. All right. So in order for me to be, it's not easy, I would just use my chalk to, to pass through it like this. Oh, and the fabric that we'll be using actually, this is um uh, one of the Akara fabric, African print fabric. And it is, um, as you can see here, it's a uh, Poland wax. And yeah, that is what we're going to be using. So, uh, I actually fold it in because now I'm using my chalk to, uh, as you can see, to do the marking here. I I do it with without uh, with no worries because I fold my fabric inward. So this actually um, this is the wrong side of the fabric, and this is the right side of the fabric. This, and actually this fabric is um, a bit uh, difficult to know the right and the wrong side of the fabric but for the fact that now i'm using my chalk to to actually mark it then it will be no problem to actually distinguish it right. so with this pattern that i actually did i add uh, i said earlier i add my uh, sewing allowance then i don't have to start adding any sewing allowance at this point okay so that is it so here is my uh, two two inches uh, folding. I just add this two inches allowance folding. So in that case, I don't have to do it when I'm sewing. Okay, so let me just uh, cut this off. 
And so let me show you one more thing. The reason I, I have the yolk coming in, this is how I did the yolk. I'm going to do the shoulder of the yolk, it's going to be like this. So here is the, the back, um, it's a fold. So I'm just going to actually do it like this. So this is how it goes. So I'm just going to cut it like that. Then this one will be the arm wall, then I'll cut it on, on fold. Okay? So I just measure it like that there. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut my fabric. You can, you can remove the pin if you want because then you have your you already have your marking and they open the pin if that's for you more comfortable okay so you can see because you do the marking then it's just easy for you so you can the marking here. Just continue to cut. can see this is so one more thing that I will do I want to mark actually this um so I want to be bracket so this is the sewing allowance and that's why I'm going to try to overlap the overlap the fabric and mark this area as well So the back and the front panel is cut out. So I'm going to cut now the the front panel or the back panel. So Cutting now the, the back panel. I will cut off this fabric. I don't want to have that. Okay. That's all.
So my back panel, I am placing it in the fold. So you can see what I'm doing. Right. On the fold side. Put my weight there. I will use my pin to hold it here. Okay. So that will be nice and nice. All right. So after pinning, I'm going to do the marking. So I can cut my fabric. Okay, this one should pin too. Okay. So I'm going to use my chalk. Again, to do this. Remember, this all with um, sewing allowance. So you don't have to. If you do not add any sewing allowance when you are drafting your pattern, then you can add your allowance right now. But I'm not going to do that now because I already add my. Allowance. So it's just easy to do right now. Okay. Okay. Alright. So that is there. So one thing I want to show you guys is that here is the with this pleat actually from the um, from here from the top from the bottom to the top actually mark like this is 10 inches just 10 inches 10 inches or 26 and a half centimeter so from there on I think it's long enough for the split because don't uh, forget I'm going to fold this area down so then it's just enough okay and what you want to do as far well, you can make this a little bit shape here if you want but in this case i'm just making it straight so that's what i'm doing that's what i'm doing right now so now i will cut my fabric You can remove your pin if you want, so you can see how you are doing. So the back panel is done. So I would like to have the next one. Marking. 
So that is that. So the back panel is done as well. Let me just do this marking here. Then just and the next uh, thing we're going to do now is to cut our sleeve. Let's see. That's a little. Okay, so let me cut the yoke because I need to have um, the yoke. It will start from here. The fold has to be on fold as well. So I'll just do this. You see? So, let me see if it's long enough. So I'll just move it. Uh -huh. Not really. Let me go to this area. Okay. Hmm. Not really. There's a back yoke. All right, this is it. Some gold now. Let me put some things. Okay, I just do my marking. Okay, so that is it. The one thing I have to remember, uh, do here is actually I have to add extra allowance on this. So I will add like um, one and a half centimeter. We just let me just say one inch. Let's see. Let me just see. I do half an inch. Half an inch. Just half an inch. One inch will be too big. So half an inch is just uh, just to uh, hold in and sew in. So I to do. Uh, okay, the neck as well. Then go to turn it in. Okay, so just cut like this. Just if I want to. Yeah. Okay. There you go. So 
with the yolk actually you can cut any shape that you want you can cut the shape that you actually desire Okay, this is this, this is the yolk, so I'm actually opening it, let's open it and then you see how it looks like. You just stick it uh, to the top of the I can know where to fix it. Okay, you can see, this is the back panel, so this is this one. So, so when you fix it, this will be designed at the back. So you can create a design like V, like that. But in this case, I'm going to make it split, okay? So that is, that is the, this is the yolk, the back, okay? So now that I have small, small fabric, I'm just going to see what I can do with it. Because you need the pocket, you need the... Okay, I'm just going to cut one. Okay, this pocket is as far well included. Um, it's an allowance already. And there is a bigger side of the pocket. Bigger side, okay. I have this as well. It is this. So, this is the. Um, the breast pocket, so I'm going to cut just to cut it. So I'll just do it like this. So I have to cut it up to me because I'll use that as a line. Okay, so you can see. Make sure it is straight. Very nice and straight. Okay. Put my weight on it. Just like so, oh, this is the front side. Let me just do the back side to do this. So, yes, uh, so, use this side. See this placket that will be in the front. The placket that will be in the front. So I just, I just cut it this way. So the placket. See, I can use can just to here and the middle here the side of the back. Here would be okay. So just mark it the mark it like I'm going to just cut it. So what we're going to do now I'm going to add uh, some 
dos pollos y dos pollos madre. So now you have this. So I'm going to add a um, plain allowance here. I'm going to do here also so that it'll be easy for me to pot. Because I'm going to fold it in two. I'm going to add half an inch to do the first one. So, half an inch, half swap, half an inch round, half an inch round. Oops. Okay, so I'm just going to draw around. Here I swear. Okay. So I'm just going to cut it off. Done. So this bracket is done. So what will happen if it's not put this one here? So I'm going to put it like this. Okay. And then on the Y, I'm just put it like this. So then you have it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I will show you guys what it's all about. Okay? So, okay, let's like use the wrong side. Okay, this one. Make sure you use the wrong side. So with this toy, you can easily wash it out. Though. So. This is the bracket I'm going to use this one. And then I'm going to see if this is it. So you can as well mark the center part. Do it like this, I just did what I did as well. So this is for this for the bracket. Yeah. So we're going to do the so let me show you guys the um with the pattern that I actually did with the uh, bracket that I did the I use um for the width this one point five inches and the length is 14 inches so that's how I did so you can cut yours how long you want so it depends on you so the other part that I'll cut it is the the other smaller one so I do it like this is it because you can fold it like this you can fold it like this then you fold it like this then you have that tiny strips that will fix inside with the placket. Okay, so that is this one. 
So the next uh, thing we do is to cut the sleeve and of course the pocket. Okay. Okay. This will do. Let me fold it and just cut out the small strips. Okay. So just fold it like this one. And cut it like this if you wish. I can also cut it like this. But I'm thinking I would like to. Okay. Okay, here is the fold. I'm going to put it on fold to put on the fold. Then to have the design on the sleeve. I'll just use this is just a marker. Okay, here is the um the folding line. So I'm going to fold it like that. So that is that we just use this to fold it as well. So that's why you need to cut um, the sleeve and fold and in two. Okay, so I'm going to let me see what I can do. I don't want to waste this fabric. Let me just um, record this. Oh, where I could as well. Put it in two. Let me just record it. Because I, I don't want to waste any fabric. You should not even do that as well. And that's what I do. Just try to economize the fabric. Okay. Okay, can you see I have more? Let me just because I need to cut uh, 
two of this. So yeah, I'm going to my fabric. Okay. So like this. this one. I want to do it like this. Okay, yeah, that can look so. I don't want this design to be in the middle, you know, so that's what I'm doing, what I'm doing right now. Okay, so, Okay, anyway, let's cut it to the scrap thing. Just mark it. So I will use the same pattern just cut off now to do the second part. So we have the second one we just did, the first one we did before. Everything is properly designed. Okay.
it now This is sleep, that is done. So, next step, so what we're going to do next is to cut our pocket. For this pocket, I'm just going to cut one because I want to put only one breast pocket. So, I'm just going to do that. So, let me see what I will use. Mm. Just looking. This time I'm going to use this purpose. I want to use this. I'm going to use this. This is the design for this pocket. Okay. The pocket is allowance is included already, so I'm not going to add any um, same allowance. Okay. So you guys see what I'm doing right now. So I'm going to I want to actually use this design. Let's see. Oh, okay. So I I'm not going to need it. I just want to have this design. I'm going to need it. So, okay. so I will move forward. Okay, I will use this area. Okay, okay well, let me just use this area right now. So, you just new trap. Let me use this. This will be fine. Okay, this will be fine. So, because the whole thing is already having, a, I could say, I already have design, so, for the pocket, let's make the pocket neutral. Let's see how it will look like. Okay. I will use this now. I will do it like this. Okay, let me just do the marking. Okay. No, remember no sewing allowance because it's already been added. If you if you draft your pattern, you did not add your sewing allowance. You can do it when you are actually cutting your marking. Then you can put your sewing allowance. You can see in this case now, it's already done, so I just have to cut it out now. 
Yeah, I can clean this trash fabric for something else, like uh, cutting the um, the other things, maybe for the, the pants, something like that. So here is the, the folding, so let me just mark it, I just uh, did a little bit of marking there. The top stitch, then I'm going to fold it like this, and fold it into three, fold it like this. Then you fold it around the top, so that is the really purpose of the top. I am going to see the rest. So the what I'm going to cut. What next to cut now? What next to cut is just the uh, thing. Okay, let me just cut the the pocket. This is the pocket. I think I cut the placket. I cut the placket already. The long stress placket. Okay. So the short placket, the short, this sh a small size that will go with the the uh, with the placket. The other side of the placket. But that is it, so I'm just putting this one here. Um, let me put it up because I really wanted to. I'll cut this area off, I don't want to have that. So I will use that one as my guide. So this is a uh, visible, I use it to cut the straps that I'm going to use. So I did not iron it yet, so you can do that. Don't iron it before you, you cut. I did not do that yet. Let me do that here. So when you iron it, actually, it will stay, it will not move. You can see now it is not uh, straight. It's straight. I cut it straight, but it's not moving. So I'm just going to remove it away. Let me show you the I actually use um two inches two inches which is half and half centimeter by nine and a half inches. Nine and a half inches. Uh, nine and a half inches is like it's a uh, twenty-five centimeter. So I'm going to um iron my fusible on it and then afterward I'll just fold it. Tiny like this, fold it like this, then I'll fold it again like this. To be really very small, and I'll use it to join with the with the um, placket. This one here. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to cut out the piping of the neck. So. So the pattern of the neck should be, so you're going to measure, how is that you're going to measure your neck circumference. So when you measure that your neck circumference, that is what you're going to actually use to cut your, your, to cut your neck facing. So this one is just like a, like um, you cut it like bias, you cut it like bias. Yes, yeah, cut it like by us uh, shape, huh? so that's what I'm going to actually do. So like this now, I'm going to do it from here. So I need to measure my neckline, then I will cut my bias. 
channel. So that will be the turning of the, the neckline. You can use any, it depends on actually on how you want to do it. You can just use a straightforward fabric or things that you can use a um, uh, bias tape to do it. But in this case, I'm just, um, I'm just doing that. I'm not going to do that. So I'll do the same fabric. I'll just um, cut it like this. Yeah, then just cut it like this. Uh, then you will cut it and can see. So it depends on what you want for your for what they call the piping, just to uh, finish your work neatly. So you can do actually like um, um, one and a half inches. But if you want your your bias to be like one inches with one inches, which is a like um, two and a half inches, you can add two and a half centimeters. Sorry, you can add um, uh, one and a half extra. So in this case now, you can just cut like this. So I want it to be one inch. They have half an inch to sew on both sides. But I just say two inches. All right. So two inches like this. Two inches like that. So, so I'm going to put that two inches. We hmm. need to look at this fabric. It will not be enough for me to actually cut it round. Just use another. I have enough fabric, just have to use this. So, you know how you do cut your bias, right? You just Put it like this. Put it like this. Actually, that's how you can do it. So you can see how the fabric is folded. Just uh, uh, it's kind of square, it's not as straight like this, that will cut straight, but I fold it like this. So I'm going to just cut my. I just said two. Two inches. Let me just cut two inches. So two inches, two inches, two inches, two inches. Okay. Okay. Two inches also. I'm going to cut it. So I'm going to cut it out and then I will keep it for in case I'm sewing, things like that. So you can uh, use other metal to cut your bias, uh, to cut your fabric. You can just fold it like this. And fold it like this. And you can just cut it. But I'm cutting like this, okay? Like this, like this, like
So you see, it's not straight, just like this. Right? So then you can cut the socket here. This piece is, you can cut this. If you have a long you can use this area, you can use this area. So I'm going to use this now. So I'm going to use like uh, 2 inches. 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 Okay. I'm just going to cut it off like this. Okay. Alright, so this will be enough. So, so if you are doing V, it is very perfect. But uh, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to uh, just use it to turn it on. Okay. So this is it. So I cut this now already. So I put it here. So inside this. So I'm going to keep this fabric for something else. So I don't know yet. So I think all my uh, cutting pieces has been cut out. I have everything complete. And so actually this is the end of the cutting of the men's native top. And we have done that. We cut out everything right now, so it's completed. And so uh, the next step we're going to do is to sew our top, to overlock it, and sew our top, and then that will be the next video. So, folks, this is it for today. So, thank you very much for watching, and uh, thank you for subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't done so, this is the first time you're watching. You can subscribe so you can see all the little things that I'm creating just to maybe you can learn something from it. Okay. And so I um, I wish you all a very, very good day wherever you may be. And keep practicing. Practice make perfect. If I can do it, you can do it. So I, uh, for me, it's goodbye. Bye.